Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and I'm here with Fred Miller of No Sweat Presentation. We've been talking about the fear of public speaking, mm -hmm. and you've built a whole business around helping people fear, feel more com uh, confident and comfortable in front of um, in front of a crowd, sure. giving a speech. And you've written a book about um, public speaking, No Sweat Public Speaking, which is what we all want it to be. So what are some of the things, in, in your presentations and um, coaching, you talk about preparing a great presentation. Um, so what are some of the, the basic elements? Well, there are two components, content and delivery. Content is the message. Mm -hmm. That's your subject matter. Delivery is presenting that message. Delivery trumps content. Okay. You could be the world's leading authority on a subject, but if you can't present that in a way that educates, entertains, and explains, they'll never get it. And the bottom line of all communication, verbal, written, or visual, is we want the recipient or recipients as quickly as possible to get it. Right. And that's one of the goals. So you have your content, and there's a structure to the speech that you want to follow. And delivery has two components also, verbal and nonverbal. Verbal is your voice and how you use it. Nonverbal is everything else, your body language, gestures, facial expressions. Nonverbal trumps verbal. We believe what we see. And if you think about the last debates, President Obama almost blew it mm -hmm. with a debate with Romney. He seemed disengaged, aloof, and he almost blew it because we, we believe what we see. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So what are, so um, you, you've, you've given me so much to think about, and there's the delivery versus the content. If, um, what's the typical good length of a speech to keep the audience's attention. Is there, a, is there an average that you recommend? Well, TED Talks are about 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. Toastmasters, you start off with three minutes and then you go to five. So somewhere in that range, it just depends how much you have. If you know the structure, you want to have an opening, you want to have a body and a conclusion. And that can be no matter the length of the presentation. Yeah. It's going to be the same. Yeah. You want to basically you have an opening that grabs their attention, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them, and then have a strong closing. Mm -hmm. Because the last thing you say is going to be the first thing the audience remembers. Mm -hmm. That's the law of primacy and recency. And, and one of the points that I want to make is that you want to be audience focused. Too many people are concerned, how do I look? What if I forget something? What if I'm not perfect? It's all about the audience. And if you can take the focus off yourself and put it on the audience, the quality of your speech will go up and your anxiety will go down. Right. I agree with you 100%. And on, on the other hand, though, I think people, if they, if they feel confident about the way they look that day, Absolutely. it'll help them with their, with their delivery and to get the focus off them. Off them. Oh, sure. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with self-confidence, knowing your stuff. There's a lot that goes in there. Know what you're talking about. Be up on the latest. Look the part. Mm -hmm. If you're supposed to look professional, look professional. Sure. Mm -hmm. Be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I think this is interesting about the TED Talk being 18 minutes. So there must be some research behind that. There must that. be. I think it has yes. to do with the attention span right. that we have. Mm -hmm. We don't have that long of an attention span. Right. That's why if you deliver a presentation, you might want to use images. People have three learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic by doing. So how important are graphics, are the visuals, the, the PowerPoints in, in a presentation? They're huge if they're used correctly. Okay. No bullet points. Bullet points kill, kill the bullet points. Uh, bullet points do not reinforce a message, as many people think. They confuse the audience, they conflict with the presenter, and they complicate the message. Use high-quality images. You provide the text with your voice, and when you have the image up there, it makes the screen go blank so the audience's eyes go to you. Okay. The presenter. So you can have a instead of a bullet point, maybe one word, one uh, image. An, an image. Yeah. Just and it's easier to plan your presentation that way too. It's easier to look at an image and tell the story versus trying to read bullet points. If you have bullet points up there, the audience is reading a different point than you're reading, and there's a complete disconnect. So no text is your recommendation. As little as possible. Okay, that's interesting because oh, that yeah. really does go against everything that our students are being taught in well, school. Well, sure. You bring up PowerPoint, it says text. You type text, says more text. Right. It doesn't exactly. say where's your image. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. So no sweat public speaking available on Amazon? Amazon.com, yes. All right, and Fred, you're available to make presentations to groups. I to speak, do coach, and write about public speaking and presentation right. skills. Very good, very good. So be sure to contact um, Fred. You'll, you can learn more about what he has to offer, Fred Miller, and all of his um, 
program through No Sweat Presentation at nosweatpublicspeaking.com. Stay tuned to SDL TV Live. We'll have more for you after this break. <laughs>